and you got 10 items deleted. What are we gonna do with the 10 that's left? We're gonna send another dispute, all right, on verifiability, okay? And you're gonna get the results from that dispute in another 30 days, all right? Let's say out of the 10 that was left, you got five more items deleted, or they could have been corrected or updated, okay? A deletion is not the only positive result. Let's say if you have an account that has a balance of $1,000, but it should be zero, you don't want that account deleted. You want it updated to show that the balance is now zero. Right? Let's say you have an account that has late payments. You don't want that account deleted. All right? You want it corrected to show pay is agreed, never been late. Okay? So a correction or update or deletion. Those are the three optimal results. Okay? Now the third one, questionable. So let's say we got another few items deleted after the 10, and now we're going to send our third dispute out on the question and ask questions about the accounts. If we do not get the questions answered in a timely manner, which we said was 30 days, those items can be deleted as well. So let's say we're down now to two items left out of the 20. The final dispute will be on the statute of limitation. Are the accounts old? Okay. Are they reporting from the first date of activity? All right. Has it passed? Has the time the actual statute of limitation lapsed since that time? So you have four chances for a 50-50-50-50 correction, update, or delete. Now every month you're going to get these results. Okay, just like these lines here, you see that these, these actual results came to their home. This is from TransUnion. This is all the accounts listed. This is all the account numbers. And the investigation result is here on the far right hand. Deleted, 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 deleted. This person received 92% deletion in 30 days of all the negative accounts they had on TransUnion. Now on this person's Equifax, she received 73% deletion in 30 days on all the negative accounts that she had on Equifax. Now if you notice, there are some tax liens, federal and state, all right, some credit cards, some medical bills, some collections, all right? So these are some really heavy accounts, all right? And she got 92% in 30 days on TransUnion and 73% in Equifax. Now her husband, he has the same credit that she does. And this is good for the two of you to know. He received 50% deletion from Equifax in 30 days. Same account, his wife received 23% more. I don't know why, but I get the inclination that the credit bureaus are favorable to women. It just seems to me that that's the way it happens. I've been standing here for nine years, and women seem to always get the best results, okay? But I believe, just as any other company, you have some people that work hard, and then some people that are slackers. So the reason she got 23% more than her husband with the same identical credit is someone else in the bureau worked on his file then, and someone worked on her file that were, they're not the same people, okay? He got 43% on his transunion, 50%, almost 50% less than his wife. We still had three more months to work on it, but that's just an idea of how it can come down, all right, and how the investigation results can shake out for a couple with the same identical credit. All right. Now, in this book, we show tax liens, bankruptcies, foreclosures, civil judgments, um, collections, um, student loans. We show every negative notation you can imagine. All right. This lady here had seven foreclosures. She had a Litton mortgage, a Saxon mortgage. She had another Saxon mortgage. She had an IndyMac, a Bank of America home loans, a Litton, a Litton, and a Litton. She got all of those deleted in 30 days. Okay, so it can be done. This gentleman here, he has a mortgage deleted here, a credit card, a second mortgage deleted, and a host of other accounts, okay? Now, our program, at the end of the four months, as I said, we do an exit interview to review all the investigation results to make sure you recall what happened in the program. At that point, that's your time to say, hey, I'm very happy with the services, and to express your concerns if you do have any, all right? Now, our fee is a flat fee, okay? The, 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 the cost of the service is the same for everyone, no matter how many negative notations you have. You can have five negative accounts or 50. And we've seen it happen, okay, where people come in with 50, 60, 70 negative accounts. So this way we don't price anyone out of the program. Everyone gets a chance, okay? You and your wife will pay the same fee for the services. Now, one other thing I'd like to add. This is something that's important to us. If you notice over here, there's stacks of books. Now on our website, it says that we've helped about 17,500 people. 
That is the result for all 17,500 from 2006 to 2010. Now, there's not many companies in this business can show you that much proof, okay? So if you recall, I've shown you proof of myself, I've shown you proof of this book, now there's about 17,500 people there, and we also have a room with over 12 to 13 boxes of proof. And we do that because many people are concerned about this industry. You know, this industry has a black eye, all right? And there's a lot of companies that are really not delivering the, the goods as they say they can. Well, the industry does not allow us to guarantee a result. We cannot guarantee what will happen. But we're allowed to show proof to give you some idea that it has happened for others and we see no reason why it shouldn't happen for you. Okay? Questions? Can a property management company, which typically on rental properties do not report their tenants' payment history to the credit bureaus, mm -hmm. can they hook up with the credit bureaus and start reporting to the for the purpose of helping their tenants establish better credit scores. Yes. For that purpose, not in a negative but in a positive way, uh, by reporting their uh, on-time payment history, can they do that? Yes. That's called alternative credit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Utility bills, rent, insurance, bills like that are called alternative credit. And there is now systems in place. There is actually a bureau that uses those accounts that normally are not reported okay, to the three major credit bureaus. So there is a way that that can be done where you can now start to get credit for that. But the bureau that is doing that is not a major credit bureau. There's more than just three credit bureaus. There's actually, I believe, a couple hundred or more. But the only ones that you're actually familiar with, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, okay? But I can get you some information on how you can get reported Get the information reported for the alternative credit accounts. To one of the, to the three major bureaus. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Next question. Please ask me something. I know you have a question for me. Do you deal international? International? Yeah. Oh no, no. We're only we're only covered by the, the Fair Credit Reporting Act and Fair Debt Collection Practices, right. but we, we do have the ability to work on Canadian accounts. Oh, okay, so if you have a Canadian file, all right, yeah. So I'm not Australian. I don't know, we can't go Australian, but Canadian files, yes, we're able to do that. I, I'll ask myself a couple questions that I know that you would probably want to, to hear. First, what if something negative on my account is reinserted? Say I got something deleted, and oh, then six months later. That was a question I had. All right, I'm reading mine today. So let's say that, that came back. Do I have to come back here and pay you again if that negative account was reinserted after it was deleted? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Actually, you shouldn't. Uh, the law says that a negative account cannot be reinserted, but there are some unscrupulous creditors and collection companies that will sell a debt once it's been deleted from them to a third party that does not know it was deleted. And then that third party or that next collection agency will add it to your credit file. All you have to do is review there's a serial number on every credit report for TransUnion, is here, for Equifax, is here, and then for Experian, is there. And that actual report number matches the results from that investigation. So all these judgments that were deleted and all these accounts that were deleted from this, this client's report, that report number, if any of them should come back, you call that bureau, give them that report number, and they'll pull the file and re-delete it for you. Okay, so you should not ever have to come back here to have us work on a file or an account that was once deleted before if you kept the actual records. And a good thing about it is we keep electronic records. We don't keep any hard copies. The only hard copies we have are for proof. Everything else is scanned in and actually shredded. Okay, so if you were to return two years later and found something that was deleted, reinserted, we could find the record for you and send you the report number to call and have it deleted again. Okay, all right. Want me to ask myself another question? Yes. All right, so here's another question. Let's say you have student loans. Yeah. And they are in deferment or in default. And they're showing that you have not made a payment and it's showing every month, 30 days, 90 days late. Is that something that can be corrected? 
Yes. Yes, we can challenge those because in many cases you're seeing a student loan is showing up 30, 60, 90, even 180 days late every month. Now, a 30 day late every month is fine because that works with the calendar. But how can you have 180 days late every month? So it looks like every month, six months of negative reporting. All right. Many times the student loans are reporting inaccurately. So you can get them updated or even deleted because of that. But you're still obligated to pay the debt, okay? That's a very good point. Let me caveat from there. Anything that's deleted from my credit report, this is your question. Am I still obligated to pay the debt? Yes. Just because it's been deleted, all right, it does not excuse you from paying the debt. So many clients come here and say, well, if it was deleted, I don't owe it anymore. No, that's not true. Okay, as long as it's within the statute of limitation, all right, you're still obligated to pay the debt for the state of Nevada. Remember, it's six years. So if six years has, has not passed, then you're still obligated to pay that debt. But it's just removed from your credit if it was deleted. Fair enough? Fair enough. Ready to move forward? Ready to move forward. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Yes, sir. How much does it cost? Okay, now the cost of the program is a flat fee. It's $1,495, okay, $1,495. We have a silver plan, a gold plan, all right. We used to have a platinum plan, it was a little bit more expensive, so we stopped offering that, but it was $1,995, okay. So anyone that has more than three negative accounts on their credit, they qualify for the gold plan, which is $1,495, okay, for every person that has more than three accounts, okay. If you have less than three negative accounts, We'll review those, your credit file with you, all right? And we'll do the silver plan, which is $699, okay? So it's $699, $1495, or $1995. Is it, uh, is it per person or is that, as a married couple, is that, well, how is that? Uh, yes, it's per person because each of you have your own files, okay? Your own socials, just as you saw uh, the example that I gave of a husband and wife. Uh, the results are sometimes Dramatically different, all right? So we have to work on each file separately, mm -hmm. okay? So what is the platinum? The platinum is some, some people, like the young lady that had seven foreclosures. Mm -hmm. That's a platinum file, all right? Because that's over, I think she had over two million in, you know, uh, foreclosed homes on her credit report. Yeah. That's quite a bit. That's so we have to work on that file for six months. All right, the gold program is four months, okay, and then the silver program is 45 days. All right, so the platinum, we add a couple extra months because of the severity of the accounts. Okay, anything else? All right, okay. Well, if you like, we can go out and we can pull your credit for you because that's a part of the process. That's a part of the free consultation where we actually pull your credit and review it with you just to make sure that you understand what's there. And then if you decide to move forward, we'll contract you for the services. If not, fine, we'll give you some time and we can follow up with you in the future. Can I pay with a credit card? Yes, yes, we accept credit card. Yes, debit card, credit card, as well as check or cash, all right? And the payments are not required up front. You don't have to pay for this in full. Okay? Oh, we have a payment plan. Yes, it's a payment plan. You're not required to pay for it in full. It's a monthly plan. And what we do is we break it out to be an even monthly payment over the entire four months or six months or 45 days, whichever program you have. Okay? Anything else? All right. Excellent. 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 We're done now?